Whether we know it or not, we come into contact with an amazing array of chemicals every day. At work, at home, in the products we use and consume, and even in the air we breathe. But how do we know they're safe? By testing them. This should give us an idea of how to use these chemicals safely. But here's the problem. In the U.S. alone, there are close to 80,000 chemicals out there, and more than 2,000 new ones are created each year. And we only have complete safety information for some of them. Current testing methods can't keep up. That's because our current testing approach is slow and expensive, and uses a lot of animals. Animal testing can take years to perform and can use dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of animals per test. These types of tests are often hard to reproduce and may give results that aren't easy to interpret or use. For example, let's look at pesticides like weed killers. For each chemical, testing uses about 10,000 animals, takes more than 10 years, and costs millions of dollars. And that's just to test a single active ingredient in one pesticide. With our current approach, it would take several hundred years to fully evaluate toxicity for every chemical out there. Testing new medicines is even more expensive and slow. Every medicine that makes it to market costs over a billion dollars, takes more than a decade, and relies on thousands of animals being tested. Even after all this effort, 92% of drugs fail in human trials. Why? Simply put, animal tests often fail to accurately predict human responses. Take aspirin, one of the most commonly used drugs worldwide. If we had used today's animal tests, aspirin would never have made it to market, because though aspirin is helpful to humans, it's toxic to animals. Meanwhile, in the cosmetics industry, consumers are increasingly demanding cruelty-free products, resulting in laws that prohibit animal testing and a greater need for alternative testing methods. Animal testing is an old approach that has served to protect public health, but we need to use resources more efficiently. We need a faster and more effective way to evaluate chemical safety to solve problems we're facing. The good news is we are already building the next generation of tools based on cutting-edge biological science. Here's how it works. Our bodies are made up of organs, tissues, and cells. Inside each cell, there is a network of biological processes going on, like a complex freeway exchange. The pathway-based approach to safety testing uses our understanding of these biological pathways. With the help of powerful computers, the information can be used to predict potential adverse outcomes like allergies, liver disease, or even cancer. The first step is to use all of our existing knowledge, including toxicity and exposure information, to see how much more information is needed. The next step is to learn more about a chemical's activity using fast, cell-based tests combined with predictive computer programs to identify the most active chemicals. Those chemicals that are most active in the first screen can then be tested using more specific non-animal tests to see what kind of activity they might have. For instance, are they most likely to be a liver toxin or might they cause cancer? Next, we see if we can get information about how active a chemical might be inside a cell or tissue the dose response, and compare that to the levels of exposure that humans might actually have to that chemical. Then we can begin to understand whether the chemical's activity is likely to lead to toxicity when it's used. Finally, only the chemicals for which more information is needed, often as required by law, will go on to be tested in animals, at least for now. Using this approach, animal testing is greatly reduced. As we develop better prediction models and more detailed pathways, we will be able to make more accurate predictions without testing animals at all. Change doesn't come easy, but we owe it to ourselves and our planet to use everything we know to make us safer. By significantly investing in pathway-based approaches now, we can expect a future of safer products and healthier lives for everyone. Efficient, more humane chemical safety is within reach.